Jeff Snyder here at the Raps Sundance Video Studio, and I'm sitting down with Will Allen, yes. the director of Holy Hell. Will, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for having Don't me. be nervous, man. We're going to have fun. I'm not nervous. So, so tell us a little bit about what this documentary is about. The documentary covers about 22 years of my involvement in a secret spiritual community. It started in L.A., went to Austin, Hawaii, and uh, it's footage that we've never shared before, and uh, that's what it's about. I've heard some describe this uh, secret spiritual community with the C word. Yes, we try not to use that word. Okay. Only because it's hard to get out from under it. But um, I think of it as more of an evolution, the beginnings of something that became a cult. Okay. It starts off with innocent beginnings. And you it's kind of the evolution of that. So you start to realize, like, what have I gotten myself into? I think into, so. I think that's true. Yes, that's, that could be true. And we start to use the C word eventually. But that wasn't a word we used while we were in it. Okay, of course. We thought, well, we're not a cult for sure. So. Right, you got to take that step back. That's right. We were, mm -hmm. So what, what's your background as a filmmaker? Is this your first film? This is my first like commercial feature film. Okay. But I started making movies when I was 13, and I went to film school. And, uh, Where? At SMU in Dallas, okay. Texas, and I graduated film school. And right after that, I met my teacher. And so right after that, I started this whole thing. And I was looking for happiness and stuff. And uh, I started to film it. And I ended up getting stuck in it. I would say, that I would use that word. It wasn't my plan. Mm -hmm. So um, I filmed for 20 years. And when the whole thing ended, I uh, tried to make sense of it with putting all this together. And the leaders of this community, they weren't nervous at all about you shooting. They encouraged it. Yeah, it was part of it. It was a very creative group and the teacher turns out to be very, you know, he's always very vain and interested in his image. And is, so, that, is that what you call him, teacher? Or? Uh, no. For the purpose of the film, it's hard. We try to come up with a, a word that we can talk about. Okay. Uh, leaders is scary. Uh, guru <laughs> is like giving him too many credentials. Uh, teacher, let's just keep it there. Sure. When the uh, lineup was announced, when the Sundance lineup was announced, your name was omitted. It was a big yes. mystery who made this movie. Can you talk about why that was and, and why you decided to then reveal yourself? I was not expecting to get into Sundance so quickly or it's when it happened. And so we weren't really quite ready to come out with the whole subject. I wasn't finished filming. Um, there are people we were trying to protect. Um, the teacher is still out there. And uh, we wanted to finish the film with no interruption. Okay. And I also wanted to make another trip back there to do one more shoot. We didn't want that to be spoiled. So we just had to keep it quiet a little longer. Was there, is there any fear of retribution yes. from other members? Yeah. Not members. Sure. Uh, not, not people I know, not my friends. I would say him and his new friends. When we talk about that retribution, is it more that they're trying to discredit you and your reputation, or would it be violence? Or? Uh, he, towards the end of my experience in this group, he had gone to the measure of violence. Okay. He spoke about violence. He always undermines and you know, hurts people without, without anyone knowing. So we were cautious about anything that he might do, but we kept it so quiet that he didn't know about it. Okay. So not until now he knows. I want to know, why did you join this community in the first place? What was sort of missing from your life at uh, the time 20 years ago? <clears throat> well, when I finished film school, I was very burnt out, right? And uh, I was looking for the meaning of life, and I was looking for meaning. I was using my films to look for meaning. And um, I think I decided that the artist and the film aren't always the same. Someone might make a really great film, but they might be a really unhappy person. And I loved a lot of filmmakers that were great artists, but I felt like I had to be a whole person before I made a movie. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for that, so I had something to say. So I was going like on a little journey for a little period of time to try to find myself, and it ended up being kind of long. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thanks.